Reported to you live from nearby Jurassic Park in downtown Toronto. It's live from last week, episode 70. Let's go! Woo! Welcoming my fellow jaywalkers to the 70th episode of Live from last week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. Today, if you guys can see, I'm looking a little bit younger. Mainly, I think it's because I shaved off my facial hair that I had last week. But yeah, anyways, this morning, after only getting this much sleep, waking up at this time, I drove the wife to her work for her day shift this morning, then actually headed to my closest Planet Fitness and did not just what you guys think, but for the first time in a while, I completed the Planet Fitness 30 minute workout. But unfortunately, after doing this exercise at Planet Fitness, my wedding ring got a little bit scratched, mainly because the steps that they had over there while I was doing this exercise had a little bit of grip tape on top and damaged a little bit of my wedding ring. But after I got over the shock of getting my ring scratched, I did my usual post-workout exercise and you guessed it, utilized the hydro massage beds. And after working out, seeing what kind of weather we were having here in Scarborough, I decided to go to my local Canadian Tire, went to the aisle with all the flags in it, and pick up a nice new gift for my mini. And now, look at my new mini flag, go! But anyways, it's now 7.30 in the evening. I'm back downtown to pick up the wife from her work, and let's go check out what we're gonna have for dinner. So guys, I'm just gonna apologize in advance. Cause it seems like last night I was tired enough to pass out before I can tell you guys about our dinner. So now I'm just gonna summarize what we had to order in for last night. The wife and I made our way to one of our favorite smokehouses on Midland and Kingston. And this restaurant with their smoke barrels in their storefront, giving off really strong and flavorful scents of their smoked meat out in the open, is called The Art of Barbecue. Where inside the restaurant they were serving up soul food, which the wife and I were very eager to take home. And oh my gosh, when I set up the table, revealing their soul slaw coleslaw, their famous side of rice, and the main attraction of the dinner, the smoked pork butt in sauce, I just couldn't wait for the wife to get out of the shower so we can start eating this dinner. But before that, I wanted to reveal to the wife just how I looked without my facial hair. And after initially not recognizing that I shaved, this was her reaction when I finally pointed it out. Ah, that's what you do. Okay, you look so yummy. <laughs> so make it now. Anyways, back to the dinner where we tasted the coleslaw and finally the smoked pork butt, which had amazing flavor and aftertaste of the smokiness. I realized after all this time how much I really missed the art of barbecue. Yeah, my dad was telling me to bring home some of these. I was like, okay, when you get better. <laughs> so yeah, Tito, when you get better, be sure to look out for the wife and I to come visit Saga and deliver you some Uber Eats with the mini of the art of barbecue. But yeah, guys, to wrap things up from yesterday, if you guys are ever in the Midland and Kingston area of Scarborough, definitely check out this local joint of a restaurant called the art of barbecue. Anyways, back to today, where after I drove the wife downtown for her day shift this morning, I headed back home, took a nap, 
then continued on with my workout regimen, going on the stationary bike earlier this afternoon, spending over an hour on it, burning over 700 calories today. And one thing that I was excited for when I was done my workout was that after I looked on the Blue Jays website for some tickets, I was able to take advantage of one of their promotions of the May leadoff pack which is pretty much a pass to every single home game, allowing me to get a pair of 500 level tickets at the Rogers Center, which if you guys leave a comment in the comment sections below, it will let me know that you guys are interested in coming to a game with me and have a free ticket to join me at a Blue Jays game sometime in May. But anyways guys, I'm gonna quickly rest up before I go in for my first of my three night shifts tonight. But before I do, I have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of my favorite co-workers, an RT that I work with who in the past joined me on my adventure to find the T-Bot. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Dina. Happy birthday, Dina. The next birthday greeting I have for today goes out to one of my Ryerson buddies, who, while I was in school, I always looked up to and is also an avid Blue Jays fan. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Jonathan. Happy birthday, Jonathan. And last but not least, I got a birthday greeting to one of my coworkers who, in person, I haven't seen in a little while, but would like to throw a belated birthday greeting to you now. This belated birthday greeting goes out to you, Vanessa. Happy birthday, Ramos. I'm hoping that everybody that's having their birthdays are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So, after my first night shift, orienting a new staff, which was actually a pretty busy shift, I had to de-stress this morning by doing some retail therapy. Spending almost a hundred bucks this morning. But yeah, don't get me wrong, I didn't spend all a hundred dollars there. I also had to pay for breakfast for my mini. So when I heard on the radio that all Shell gas stations were offering three cents off per liter for CAA members just like me, I just had to take this opportunity and try out my CAA card. So once I got to the pump, and inserted my CAA card. You can see here the before and the after price of how much gas per liter cost. But one of the unfortunate things was that since gas prices are so high right now, this was my first time ever filling up the Mini on over $2 a liter. And of course, as per usual, when I tried to fill up to the nearest dollar, it was just my luck just going over the dollar mark once again. And on top of that, at $85.01, I set a new high score for a fill up for the mini. But anyways guys, that wraps up this segment for today. And so after I go in for my second of my three night shifts tonight, I'll just see you guys once again tomorrow. So today, after yet another busy night shift, wearing my Earth Day scrubs last night, a decent post shift nap, and a quick, easy one hour workout on the stationary bike, I'm remembering that I ran into a friend slash former co-worker that I haven't seen in a long time who actually has a message for you guys today. Hey! It's Happy Thursday or yeah. Friday! Happy Earth Day! It's Earth Day today? It's Earth Day today. Earth Day? Happy Earth Day! <laughs> <laughs> Be kind to the Earth! <laughs> so yeah guys, taking advice on what Crystal said earlier, Be kind to the planet! Happy Earth Day 2022! Feel free to pick up some loose litter and put it where it belongs, in the garbage. Plant a tree if you have the resources and the time, which I'm hoping that we might do sometime in the near future. And be sure to water your plants just like how I did while I was on the stationary bike earlier today. And yeah, hopefully for today we can do all our own little part to continue to treat the earth the way that she deserves. But anyways guys, before I go in for my final third of my three night shifts tonight, we just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of our friends who is very positive in his attitude and influential in his days at FSAT. This birthday greeting goes out to you, John. Happy birthday, John. And next, we have a birthday greeting to one of my titas out there who I can't wait to celebrate with for her birthday on Sunday. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Tita Elsie. Happy birthday, Tootsie. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. This morning, after my night shift, went home to take a quick shower, and now I am here at the Pine Hill Cemetery to do my monthly visit to Lola. Hi, Lola. 
Just gonna sit here and have some breakfast with you while I wait for my cousin Faye to come visit you too. And I also want to show you something, Lilla, that I got last month that hopefully we'll be able to use while in your company. And yes, it's what you think it is, Lilla. It's a brand new Mahjong set. All right, Ooh. and then oh. open your eyes. It's a macho set. I think it's upside down. Oh, oh that's a nice one. Yeah, okay, let's play that. <laughs> it's like a mini travel set. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Lola. Hi, Lola. Until next month. And after visiting Lola, going back home to try to take a post night shift nap, not being able to stay asleep and only sleeping this much, I guess instead of just wasting time, it's time to get up and head to a local high school gym to play some indoor volleyball. So after that fun but exhausting session for volleyball earlier today, I decided to rest and recover at my local Planet Fitness, utilizing the hydro massage beds to their fullest potential. I also got the opportunity to check out the coin-operated massage chairs which, as you guys can tell, I'm not a big fan of because I'm not used to having a massage like this on the daily. But yeah, anyways, I'm off to go back home to try to rest up and catch up on my lack of sleep, but not after I pick up the wife from hanging out with her friends and getting some grub to eat. But before I call it a night, we have several birthday greetings for you guys today. Just wanna wish a happy birthday to one of my soccer friends back when I was a youth, Dave. Happy birthday, Dave. Next, a family friend from the SMIOA group. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Erica. Long time no see, but happy birthday, Erica. A third birthday greeting of the day goes out to one of my classmates back at Ryerson. And this birthday greeting goes out to you, Lillian. Happy birthday, Lillian. Next, a birthday greeting to one of my other Filipino friends back in high school. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Paul. Happy birthday, Paul. And last but not least, a family friend that I met in Detroit and who I last visited in Los Angeles with his brother. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Justin. Happy birthday, Justin. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had great celebrations for your birthdays this year. Well, actually, believe it or not, at 6.30 in the morning, after taking a quick nap at home, I am in downtown Toronto, allowing the wife to sleep over at her friend's place last night, Hi, bye! Bye. 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 bye! bye! And now, picking her up with my Uber Mini, being a good husband so the wife doesn't have to spend any extra money on another Uber, or take the late night Blue Line bus, and I can make sure she gets home in a decent amount of time. Fast forward, it's now Sunday evening. And after taking a little bit of a rest, then taking the Mini with the wife, Utilizing the Mini's beautiful sunroof feature, I drove the wife to her wedding coordination event over at the local Best Western Plus, then headed to the nearby St. Thomas More Church to attend Sunday Catholic Mass over there for the first time in a long while. But after chilling for the afternoon, I'm now back in Scarborough to attend my Tita Elsie's birthday party. 
So come join me in giving her her birthday gift today and let's go eat some fine Filipino food. So after spending some time at the birthday party, relearning how to play the game of Mahjong for the first time in more than a decade, and learning a lesson or two from the great Mahjong player, Mami Po, I made my way to the place where I had my wedding reception, the Guild Inn, and brought the wife with me to greet the birthday celebrant in person. Oh, Happy birthday, Tita! So yeah, Tita Elsie, I hope you had a great birthday celebration at your place this year. And I'm hoping that you had as much fun as we did at your birthday party earlier tonight. So earlier today, while trying to figure out what to do with my day, after being short of sleep and only sleeping this much last night, and although it was almost 30 degrees inside my condo, I decided to put on YouTube some Just Dance videos and do some exercises just dancing in my living room. Bang, bang, bang! And after finishing some of that cardio, I drove the wife downtown for her night shift tonight, stopping by the local Scotiabank Arena, where at Jurassic Park, they're gonna be playing game five of the Sixers versus Raptors playoff series tonight. But yeah, it's time to go home and hopefully watch the Raptors pull out the win tonight. So for now, we're gonna wrap up this week's episode. If you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Drew Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live from Last Week.